एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज विजेता एंड टुडे इज अ स्पेशल डे बिकॉज इट्स माय बर्थडे यस थैंक यू सो आई एम गोन गो कट द केक राइट नाउ बट बिफोर दैट आई वांट टू शो यू द हाइलाइट्स ऑफ दिस वीक I started my week with cleaning the closet and uh, realized that there are so many clothes that I don't wear anymore and I don't even know what to do with them so I decided to donate them I might be getting rid of this clutter but I know at the same time it's going to help others in need and it's a good feeling it's better to have them being worn by people who actually need it than just seeing them lying in your closet Okay, let's paint now. You know what? Every time I want to paint something, I I don't know why, but I do not have any thoughts in my head until I start sketching. And uh, this time I just wanted to put my feelings out. I was feeling a little laid back and there was this image that I found on Pinterest. I kind of really felt that image. and that's exactly when i decided to paint that it was initially very difficult to sketch because it was an underwater portrait i mean this woman is floating and it was kind of difficult to capture because of the perspective i know the sketch was not perfect but i still continued and started painting <laughs> Painting a portrait has never been easy for me, especially in different angles. Probably that's why I love painting it because it's challenging, and every time I learn something new. Maybe I messed up with the proportion in this one, but I somehow managed to capture the expression right. I also realized that I can play around with the background. I mean, in the actual image, she is probably floating in the ocean or river, which was quite plain for me. And I wanted to add some elements in the background, so I painted a sort of a lake filled with water lilies. This is actually inspired by Monet's painting. I do feel I still need to work a lot on this medium gouache. I mostly use it like watercolors. I'm sure there are better ways to use that. and like you can see it's pretty much how i imagined it to be and and i think it was a good study i learned new ways to look at my style so i just got my birthday gift delivered which i bought for myself <laughs> No cover, book in a such bad condition. I don't usually buy birthday gifts for myself, but thank God I bought this one because even though the cover was pretty damaged, I just fell in love with this book as soon as I opened it. I'm not sure if I'm going to recreate any of these paintings, but it's definitely inspiring and amazing to read about these great art movements. It definitely brought back all those college memories when we used to uh, study about the history of art. Man, those days were awesome. I am someone who finds pleasure in these little things. I had my book and delicious wow. banana cake to have. It was a pretty chill day. Mmm. Acha. Bahut acha. I also enjoy cooking even if it's the simplest of all. I make sure that I'm mindful of what I'm putting into my body. I also read somewhere that you eat fewer calories without even realizing it whenever you are cooking. So I think it's this is not something that I'm going to stop doing. While cleaning the closet, I also found this sari which I bought a year ago. Since I did not have anything new to wear on my birthday, I wanted to make a dress out of this beautiful sari. 
Firstly, I looked at some inspiration on Pinterest. It was overwhelming because everything seemed so difficult to make. Boy, I was scared. I haven't stitched anything from the scratch since college and uh, of course, I was completely out of practice. So, I started with the typical designer's way. I sketched the design first. I believe sketching is also a way to manifest something you want. I'm sure if my faculties would be watching this, they'll be proud of me. I knew even if this whole making a dress plan fails, I have nothing to lose. I mean, I bought this sari last year which was for 300 rupees and that is all. I don't even remember when was the last time I drew a fashion illustration. I almost forgot how much I used to love drawing these fashion sketches and I think I should sketch more often because of course you shouldn't stop doing something that you love. Again, creating something has always been my interest. Although the fabric was not that great, it slipped a lot while stitching and I was sure I will have fun while making this and this definitely brought some more confidence in me to try making more customized outfits which I think I will. I, I just enjoyed this process. me looking for uh, suitable earrings for the dress yeah I have a thing for earrings and I cannot do without them that's why I have collected a bunch of them these are not many but for me it's a lot because I only wear a few of them and these are the earrings that I got only for uh, 30 rupees from a street market and I never touched it. At least if I paint it, I'll be able to wear it once or maybe more. I somehow like painting on unconventional things more than conventional ones. I mean, this was not planned. This is what I do. I just go a little extra sometimes and since I liked it so much I was just thinking of finding ways to make this last long and thank god I had this brand new Mod Podge I never got to use and I sealed the paint with this. I'm not sure if it works though. Pretty pretty. Another reason why this week was special is that we got to finally watch the most awaited show, The Friends Reunion. It was just amazing to see the entire cast together and there were so many unseen BTS footages that was shown in the show. I just love how Matt LeBlanc has not even changed a bit. Only disappointment was that Paul Rudd and Cole Sprouse couldn't make it to the show. Everything else was just amazing. I kind of got emotional in the end. Finally, the day has come. So my mom baked a delicious Oreo cake for me. <laughs> and I was just annoying her. Instant cake, hai na ye? Throughout the time. Mmm, sexy! By the time the cake was kept to chill, I went on to write a birthday note for myself. 
This is something I have never done. I enjoy writing notes and letters for others, uh, like my friends and family, and I thought, why not write one for myself? This was more like a gratitude note for me. To be honest, I am so grateful to be alive and around my people today. I may have not celebrated a day in the best possible way, but as I celebrate it, I am extremely thankful for all the love and support I get from my family, my friends, and my YouTube community. Being surrounded by the people you love is the best gift ever. And I I really want to thank God for what I have. So finally, the best part about making a cake, the icing. Since I did not have anything other than chocolate, so I tried using chocolate syrup for uh, the decoration. And as you can see, I'm just trying to be a little artsy over here. I think I did a pretty good job. So I got all ready. So I dressed up. This is the dress that I have stitched. And uh, these are the earrings. As you can see, oh, they look lovely. Let's go cut the cake. Very good. Hello. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. A huge shout out to my mom who made this delicious dinner on my birthday. I'm so lucky to have her in my life. I don't know what would I have done without her. Okay guys, so this was it. I hope you like this art slash birthday vlog of mine because I was really excited to shoot this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!